Hi. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm here with the lovely Jason Priestley. And, uh, and of course, little Miles, my <laughs> robot dog. Look at him, very cute. Now, once again, people at home, thank you, I use the word loosely, for sending me in more of your local nude calendars. <laughs> oh, they flooded in. And <laughs> Stroud Hockey Club, they've gone for it in a big way. Now, two things are proved by this. At uh, one, you don't need to be fit to play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, uh, people's, people's sort of interpretation of what is sexy is really out there. Here's a woman who thought that just taking your pants off would just <laughs> give everyone a charge. <laughs> you do wonder where the, where the top of that hockey stick is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a hands-free goal. Thank you very much for those, and uh, why not? Keep them coming. Now... Order, order. I will have order in this studio. I call upon the Right Honourable Member for Redcar. Please welcome... Mo Molum! <laughs> for you for Valentine's Day present. You oh. found it in the ladies' loo. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dead flowers, just what I've always wanted. <laughs> well, why don't we do this? I could put it over here and swap it with this one and give you that one. Oh, no, we're because we've got nice roses here. But thank you for caring. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> gifts. We like gifts. Oh, bless you. Are you all right? Excuse me. Yes, I'm fine. Thanks. Yeah. I'll be I think, I'm quite allergic this. to dead flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you've got a bit of gold dust off our cupids. Sorry about that. Oh, we'll, we'll pay for the drive. <laughs> Cupid, I think, would be best. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, so you'll have to walk the other direction. You're distracting us. Oh, oh, fly. Sorry, that's Miles being bad. And um, it's cool, that, though, isn't it? Very good. Has he got a Valentine's treat? Not yet, but I might have one for, from later. I, I've got both of you Valentine's treats. Really? Do you want your Valentine's treats? Yes, I like sure. presents. Well, everyone's seen your present already, because it is a duplicate of something we've seen already. Uh, and that is, and you can leave it behind if you want to. <laughs> but it, it, we just, it is Betty's tongue. Oh. <laughs> it, it's got five speeds. Um, Thank but, you. But now, we've had Betty's tongue on the show before. I've There's seen Betty it. down there. There she Hi, is. Betty. Please, Betty. I saw it last time you were on with it. Yeah, Do you well. want to go? No, thanks. <laughs> no, in fact, we've got Jason something else. Oh, jeez. We've got Jason. <laughs> this is a lovely thing, right? This is a fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you can have this around the house, couldn't you? People, yeah, you know, sure. you just see the fleshlight and you think, oh, that's lovely. That's great. A nice that's little thing. Work. Right, what you do is, when the moment arises, the man just unscrews the top. Manly, you would, would wouldn't you? It's not made for me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you unscrew the top to reveal that in there. And <laughs> I'll, just let, I'll just let you work it out. It looks like you're collecting for charity. <laughs> <laughs> but ever, ever conscious of hygiene, uh, after it's been used, you can remove this and wash it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's sexy. It's very exciting. Anyway, that's for you, because yeah. we, we don't want you to go away empty-handed. That's sexy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that hurts. Don't do that again. <laughs> Everyone's crossing their legs. <laughs> I appreciate that. And uh, this is a funny week to be, to be talking, because, uh, you know, obviously Mandelson replaced you and... and, and reading... Not this week. No, 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 but, but Mandelson replaced you then. <laughs> and uh, you, you were never his greatest fan, even before he, he sort of took your job, were you? Well, both those statements weren't true. We get on fine, and he didn't take my job. I've been at it five years, two and a half in opposition, two and a half in government, and at some point you have to move on. And the difficulty about Northern Ireland, there is never a good time to move on. But, but have you actually walked away, or are you still kind of really, you know, are you still very interested in what's going on in Northern Ireland? I'm interested. I keep up to date, of course. But I've got a very demanding job now. I do drugs, I do GM. <laughs> I do <GM>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Phenomenal. A lot of people are it. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> you are brave. You are a brave, <laughs> brave, <laughs> wonderful woman. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny those allegations at this time. <laughs> he said politicians are ballsy that say it, and he hasn't got the balls to say it. Do you I, do drugs? Do you know I don't? But I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing about your popularity is that people sort of, had they, you know, there's all this whole thing, oh, people, you know, there's some sort of, like, whispering campaign against you and everything. Mm -hmm. Did all that trouble start when you got that amazing standing ovation at the conference? No, a little after that, but... Um, Do you think that was what kicked it off? Well, no, because I don't know who's doing it. It's all a bit weird. But it's sort of, it's, presumably it is just jealousy, because everyone likes you. I wouldn't say it was as simple as that. I think it's more complicated. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who's doing it, and I think it's probably a combination of factors. And I'm here to have good fun. Oh, yeah, no, no, absolutely, no, absolutely. But well, we can't talk about politics. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about politics because I know nothing, ab I know nothing about it, really. So we, How we, old are you? 36. How many times have you voted? I do vote every time. How do you vote if you don't know about politics? Well, what I do is... <laughs> Sorry to be boring. No, what I do is I see where they live. <laughs> and? And if their address sounds incredibly posh, I don't vote for them. Because <laughs> I just think they won't be after the same things I am, you see. Whereas if there's a letter up, if they live in something B or something C, you know what I mean, like 18C, such and such a road. They're a winner. I think, yeah, they're probably all right, aren't they? They live in a flat. <laughs> I think that's probably a very good criteria to use. Well, you just think they'll work hard, yeah. don't you? But uh, in, in the, the whole House of Commons, you're known as kind of quite a bit of a wild child. Um, I, I've always said I'm a child of the 60s. And I am. In every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> <laughs> and, but now, for instance, you're known, you're known uh, for, for telling you and, is it Frank Thompson, are the, tell the dirtiest jokes in the House of Commons? Matter of opinion, I think. Where, where do you tell them? Do you all just sit around and ask comments and... Oh, go on, no, be filthy. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when you sit around telling jokes, like, at the moment, if, for instance, if we just walk out of some old debate uh, and, you know, we had a drink, you'd be going, have you heard the one about the... What's your current favourite joke? <laughs> um, what do toilet seats, birthdays and... Um, <laughs> Is it a rude word you're looking for? Uh, Thursdays and Dorothy's something downstairs. Mm -hmm. Might Betty's tongue find it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do toilet seats, Thursdays, and what Betty's tongue finds have in common? I don't know. Men miss them. Very <laughs> <laughs> good job. <girl. laughs> The other thing, right now, at this very moment, yep. do you have your pager on you? Do you really? No, of course not. So, if there was some sort of emergency, oh my god, we're going to lose the vote, we need Mo. Uh, Andrew, who's hidden somewhere, would come on and go, vote, vote, and I'd run off with him. Really? <laughs> so, is it... No, I've been slipped, as we call it. <laughs> <laughs> you can get um, slipped. We used to do pairing, where you paired with the other side if you both had very important engagements, but there's so many of us and so few Tories. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> um, but, uh, They're still clapping the government. That's kind of amazing. Well, it, it's not, because we've done a lot and Haig is so sad. <laughs> But he's got his friend Michael now. Well, that's not <laughs> going to make his judgment any better, is it? Exactly. No. Poor William. Poor Willie. Oh. <laughs> but now, a treat for Valentine's weekend. Uh, we found a really cute site in America that tells Valentine's outfits for your dog. Aww. Yes. Are you dog lovers? Yes, absolutely. Do you like dogs? Love them. But I can't have one because I live in a flat in London. Oh, you see, you live in a flat. I'd vote for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, now, look at that. It's a special Valentine's Day outfit. Mmm, pretty in Hollywood pink. <laughs> I think you've obviously gone onto the pug hooker site. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs>
the hell is that? Prince Pretty in Hollywood Pink. Oh and my not just God. not just Valentine's Day, also, you could get an outfit for Halloween. <laughs> See? Halloween. What's the one on the right called? The puff? This one? Yeah. Uh, that's Puff the Magic Dragon. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, and there's a little devil. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> when we got Valentine's Day, an outfit, we want a very romantic outfit, and look what you can get. You can get a bride and groom outfit. <laughs> so we thought, look, we'll buy some of these outfits, and then we thought, look, it's Valentine's, we've got doggy wedding outfits, we've got a leading romantic heartthrob and a member of Her Majesty's government on the premises. Let's have a doggy wedding. So, we're going to the chapel now as we play Puppy Love. No, they'll be back in a minute. <laughs> now, listen, my lovely, lovely, uh, dearly beloved friends, we are gathered here today in the sight of Betty uh, to witness... <laughs> looking resplendent in a special wedding hat. Uh, <laughs> to witness the marriage of this dog and bitch. Now, if anyone here present knows of any just impediment why Layla and Timo may not be joined together, let them bark now or forever hold their peace. That, that was a very tense moment, wasn't yeah. it? It could have gone either way. No, uh, who, okay. who gives this bitch today? I do. Oh, you're too good. Were you this excited on your wedding day? <laughs> <laughs> Layla and Timo, do you take one another to be your lawful wedded mates? Will you bite each other and mount each other and sniff <laughs> one another's bottoms, forsaking all others? <laughs> Until such time as you're both run over, a vet, do you part? <laughs> the other way round, I think. Uh, <laughs> Jason, Jason, do, do, yeah. you have, do you have the collar? Uh, yeah. Oh, another tense wedding yeah. moment. Look, <laughs> hey. look, look, look what you, look what you got for Layla. That's beautiful. Did you go shopping Layla. yourself? Yeah. Actually, that's too good for a dog. I'll keep that. <laughs> uh, with the power invested in me as the keeper of Betty's tongue, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Dog. Tino, you may sniff the bitch. daughter Jade to the raunchy photo shoot in Skippy Knickers. She pouted it for the camera and showed off those trademark Jagger lips. Gosh, they really were Skippy Knickers. <laughs> <laughs> so